Okay, today we are going to be making fresh Lake Erie deep fried perch. And I'm gonna discuss with you uh, the preparation time with the batter and getting the perch fillets ready. So you start off um, with about two pounds of fresh perch fillets. Um, these are fresh fish uh, through the ice here in Pennsylvania. And we are gonna take those with the first step, we are going to coat them um, with one egg. So we're going to crack an egg, and we're, I like just to put a little bit on there. There we go. Just the whites. Um, that's going to give it a very nice coating. It's going to make the fillets nice and sticky. You want something uh, to help your fillets as they stick to that wonderful batter. Okay, so that's the first step. The next step is preparing your batter. And what I have here is a mixing bowl. And I have uh, corn cornmeal. Um, it's my preference. Uh, it works very well, deep fries very well. Uh, you're going to place that. Uh, in your bowl and I mixed it with some different uh, Cajun seasonings uh, a couple of my own spices kind of give it a little bit of a kick um, whatever you'd like to add would be wonderful um, but basic you know the cornmeal is the you know the basic ingredient okay next you're simply this one of these is great these batter bros um, you cover the lid you're gonna place some of your fillets arrange them. I don't like to do the whole batch at once and you know, I do you know nine or ten fillets at a time and you're gonna cover your bowl and then you're gonna shake it. Turning it over, give it a good shake, turn it over again, coat them very good and one more time. See how they turned out. Okay, beautiful. So what you have here is nicely coated perch flies. You're going to take a nice clean plate and you're going to stack them on your plate. You can see how they're covered very nicely. Using tongs. Now I usually make a couple pounds at a time and you can use different quantities. Uh, these are wonderful for perch fries, having your friends over, um, entertaining. Um, these will definitely be excellent in the final. So there you have it. We're going to do one more round. Taking your flour once again, putting it in the bottom of the bowl. That's your remaining cornmeal flour mix. We have the remaining perch fillets down. Now remember, these are nice and coated with the egg whites, so they're nice and sticky. Now I use the fillets, I don't leave the skins on. Different anglers will tell, some anglers use skins on your fillets. I like to uh, fillet my fish to take all the skins off. Notice there's no bones in this. This is all um, meat of the fish. Uh, again, that's your choice if you'd like to keep the skins on. And we're going to cover, and we're going to give it a good shake. And I like to do this like three times, turning it. Get a real good coating. Don't be scared to put some muscle in it. And they should be ready. Let's see how it turned out. Okay, uh, again, um, beautifully coated, and we're going to put them back on our clean tray with the other flies. All right, wonderful. All 
Okay. Now once you get uh, all of your fillets on the tray, um, what I like to do is prepare this a few hours ahead of time. And as you can see, it's very beautiful. Um, what I like to do is take this tray and uh, put it in the fridge for a couple hours, let, let the, uh, the mixture set, um, and then uh, in a couple hours we're going to take these out and uh, we're going to head to the deep fryer. Okay, now we're at the frying stage and the first key is to make sure that your oil is nice and hot. There are several different types of oils you can use. Um, I prefer canola oil. Um, you can use uh, many different types, vegetable oils, canola oil, peanut oil, uh, but whatever type you've had luck with, um, you know, it's, just, it's up to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our fryer and we have those perch fillets that we're going to get ready to drop. Now remember they were sitting for a couple hours in the fridge, that batter is nice and coated. Um, one of the other keys too before you drop um, the fillets is I like to arrange the same size fillets together. You know when you're deep frying um, I don't like to put a very thick large perch fillet in the same batter as a small one because you know they will cook. Um, the small one will be done very soon and the larger one will be done a few minutes later. So uh, keep the like size fillets together. Uh, you're ready to drop. Um, again, make sure the oil is nice and hot uh, before you do this. If you drop your pan, you can tell by the sizzling uh, that batter is going to get nice and crispy. And you do this for roughly uh, seven to ten minutes. Uh, keep an eye on them. You don't want to overcook the fillets, but again, you don't want to undercook them either. So let these sit in the oil, let them crisp up, and then uh, we'll see how they turn out. Okay, we're at the final stage, and as you can see, I just opened the fryer. They've been cooking for a few minutes here, and the batter's turned a very nice golden brown. Again, you can play with all different kinds of batters. Um, I have a special recipe, it's a three blend, um, one part cornmeal, one part corn flour, and then uh, a seasoned white flour with it, and that's with my own special spices. Uh, but these uh, came out very nice. Uh, they look very crispy, and again, you can uh, experiment uh, with your own special batters for your fish. Not only does this work with perch, it also works with other panfish. Um, I do this with crappies and bluegills um, as well. So I hope you enjoyed uh, how to deep fry uh, Lake Erie yellow perch, and uh, I hope you'll come back and visit us again. Uh, with a new and upcoming outdoor adventure.